My beloved in the Lord, my name is Emily. This is Heavenly Host Vision Weasley. I'm so excited to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. The spell that they did on you wrestled to dwell in you to no avail. Your goodness and your light chased it out. The spell that they did against you, against you wrestled, fought so hard. To dwell. Beloved, recently some of you felt like someone uh, did spell against you. You were not just feeling it, beloved. It was real. It was real. The one that is still spell to dwell inside of you. And this is not just a, a common spell that you like, perhaps it's a love spell, it's whatever spell that to do to, to uh, redirect someone's focus, but it was a spell. That was meant to to settle in you and start uh, and, start, uh, and, and start acting a certain way. It was a dangerous spell, beloved. But this spell came, as it says, this spell it came, and began to look for where for how to set. Because listen, beloved, your spiritual atmosphere is not like everyone else's. You, you've got a clean spiritual atmosphere. You've got a righteous atmosphere. Your, 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 your spiritual, if, if, uh, even your physical environment is so clean. Because you know the, the enemies, the, 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 um, the devil, you know, um, they love to patch on dusty areas, dusty places, dusty environment, beloved. They love to, to, to hide themselves in dirt. But the truth is that you're clean. Both inside and outside, you are clean. Both spiritually and physically, you are clean. Both mentally and emotionally, you are clean. So when they came, they, they, the spell came. They says the spell, it came, but it could not have a dwelling because there was no hiding place for it. In your spirit, your light was shining brighter and the spell could be seen, the spell could be felt, the spell could, could, not, have to, could not dwell because when there is light, darkness disappears. Where there is light, darkness bows. So in your spiritual environment, because they always started for spiritual because not people are blinded, they can't can see. So when they targeted you spiritually, they could not just have a landing. They could not have a safer place to live. They could not feed up of whatever they rather they want to feed up of from you in your spirit. And so they checked out. As they checked out, they began to look for a way to set to patch around. Is it around your, your room, your your your, your living room, your your bedroom or your toilet, your kitchen, they're looking for a place to set, but they could not set because everywhere is clean. Everywhere is clean. And to those of you who've not um who've not uh, rearranged your home, your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom, please you, you rearrange right now because the enemies have been trying to settle, trying to settle to gain access. But Access has been denied in Jesus' mighty name. Access in your home has been denied. Access in your emotional fields has been denied. Access into your, your, your brain, your mind, your consciousness has been denied. Beloved, beloved, listen. Spell met light. Spell met goodness. Spell met cleanliness. And they got confused. They got confused. You see this season? Oh my God. You don't even need to, like, everything about you is beautiful, bright, so bright. Such a way that the enemy can't even just prevail with their different schemes that they're trying to, to bring at you. Spell, beloved, that they, that they made towards you, make cleanliness. The spell that they, that they made towards you, that they said at you, made holiness. It made light. It made goodness. And it got confused. Doesn't even know where to settle anymore. Because your spirit, spiritually, you're blocked. They, you're, they've been blocked. Physically, they have been blocked. Your, your, your mental state is intact. They wanted to send a spell to confuse you because you are too stable. You are too grounded. You are too focused. And they said they need to send a spell to destabilize you, to confuse you, to bring down fear. But the spell, as the spell came, the spell met light, goodness. The spell met grace. The spell met, you know, cleanliness. And they got confused. But there shall be no enchantments. 
The Bible says in King James Version that, uh, in, in Numbers 23, verse 23, in King James Version of the Bible, that surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said to Jacob and of Israel, see uh, uh, what had got wrong, what had got wrought, what had got wrong. In another version, it says, see what God has done. Hallelujah. What God has done. So God is doing this in your life to ensure to make sure that no spell dwells in your life and prevails. God is making sure that no enchantment that is made against your life takes effect. All the things that they have been doing against your life, beloved, are not on void. You are free from that particular spell that they started targeted you with a few days ago. Even yesterday, even today, as I'm talking to you, yes. So I've been planning to send those 10 spells towards you. But as you're listening to this message this moment, I see you being protected. I see you being protected. Listen, we have over, we, we are shamed the enemies this one by the words of our testimonies and by the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus Christ. As you're listening to this spell message this moment, if they had targeted you with spell and you've been struggling so hard to come out of it. God is bringing you out of it this moment. God is bringing you out of it this moment. You are receiving wholeness within your being. You are receiving wholeness within your being. You are receiving wholeness within your being. Is it a love spell? Is it food spell? Is it a depression spell? Is it a confusion spell? Whatever spell that is targeted you with this season, you are getting free from it. In Jesus' mighty name, in the name of our Lord, Yahushua Mashiach. Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. See you in the next video.